Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to uh, the Hustle Lightyear account. Where again, things aren't going very good, but we're trying to keep positive as best we can. Uh, we actually just went to go play Call of Duty, and that was really fun. Um, so um, it's on Game Pass. So I didn't buy it. I wasn't going to buy it, but it's on Game Pass. So hell yeah. So I might actually get back into Call of Duty a bit, and eventually Warzone uh, might be the plan. Uh, I used to upload Warzone content back on like literally during lockdown in 2020 so yeah that might happen again a little bit maybe maybe playing poppy with, with a corky uh, our burst is incredible uh we're against a trist alistair a very old school strong lane but i counter technically both of them if i play well I think our comp is much stronger than the enemy's comp, unless they snowball. If Kennen snowballs, he can one-shot things. If Kazakh snowballs, he can one- There's a theme kind of emerging with the enemy's comp. Basically, if they snowball, they can one-shot things. If they don't snowball, they won't do any damage. Seems you left your brave pants at home. You want me to wait while you get them? 30 seconds until minions spawn. Huh? Oh, she's starting a Doran's Blade just to auto-attack a Cassidy into death. That's not AD LeBlanc. I, I've done that once when I was playing Anivia against Cassidy. Wasn't very good on Anivia. I can see it being a lot better on LeBlanc. See, LeBlanc fairly recently has had a full AD build. So. And yeah, first strike into LeBlanc is... Yeah, but again, a lot of people take first strike not for the gold. They actually take it for the 7% increase in damage. And obviously, if you get casted into level 16, a 7% increase damage to that is insane. Queen Pleb loves that joke. She knows it off the, you know. Queen Pleb's favorite league champ is between Poppy and Nico. Nico and Annie. That's our top three champs. Poppy, Nico, and Annie. For sure. Hello, Nashiro. Nashiro, Nashiro. Nashiro, Nashiro. If you're waiting for me to give up, you might be here a while. Why are they so passive? This is not supposed to be a passive lane. This hammer has two sides. Did you want to feel the other one too? Is there someone you can read all the League of Legends lore you're interested? They've got a uh, on their website. Each character's got like their own lore page. They're obviously of our graphic novels that are the League of Legends stuff now. They had partnerships with Marvel. Obviously, Nikri as a YouTuber, he goes over law stuff quite a lot. What do you mean my hammer's too big? Basically, both of our matchups in our lane phase, or of our solo lane, sorry, they're both just at disadvantage early. Yes, of getting poked, but then they'll eventually start beating them as time goes on. I think that Alistair got bored. I should get dreads. As in what, dreadlocks? don't think it would suit me. And I don't really want to go through the process. Don't you have to, like, not wash your hair for, like, years? Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> Nice, Cassidy got a kill. That's good. Oh, Cassidy didn't even use flash for it. Oh, the hell is going on over there? Death. 
F is happening. Thought someone bought some merch. <sighs> I think if we just gets late game, the enemy team have absolutely zero chance. Late game monster, late game monster. Pushing towards us. They're going to need a gank. We either need a gank or they're going to force a hard engage. One of the two. They went all in and Corky didn't really fight. Like, if Corky just fought them, by the way, we kind of easily win that. But Corky, like, look how low they are, and that's without Corky properly fighting. One thing about me, Corky just didn't thing. really want to go for it, I guess. Oh well. Can't control how he plays. That's disappointing. Again, he's supposed to be hyper aggro early, but he did not get the memo. He also put a random pink ward down. Is Exalt even necessary? I don't even know if it was necessary in pressing all. Did not mean to press W then, by the way. Oops. Just so ahead on item. This is why, like, I force a fight. Because we should be just stomping any fight we have. But. Oh, if Corky doesn't want to fight. <laughs> really go for a nap. <laughs> he gone. Wait, no, she's not. That was weird by LeBlanc to overstay that hard. You haven't got your ultimate off. Oh my god, you inter. Why does he do so much damage? Like, legit. What the hell? Like, Kazix is one-shotting everything. And people keep saying Lethality Assassins are weak right now. Who the hell is Lamar? Probably just players that aren't very good. They seem really strong. Oh. Oh, Corky. I don't know if this Corky is very good, by the way. I don't know. Doesn't give me vibes. No vibes. Alright, Kastan will start winning that match up in mid. Yeah, there's uh 
Kazix is doing very well. Drax is half on, but you'd kind of expect him to be. I want to fight all in on the enemy team. Like, Corky didn't use any sums there, by the way. Trist used her uh, barrier. So, again, technical advantage for us. down and immediately w'd but they already had vision that was really weird yeah, we're so much stronger than the enemies he actually that was the first time that corky was like oh okay we'll fight we'll force a fight look how easy that was that's what we should have been doing the entire time Oh, it would have been really good if Kazakh and um, Kassadin got that. So, like, LeBlanc is not controlling this Kassadin at all. And she had counter pick, and she's not doing anything to actively stop a Kassadin. So I like, yeah, you can pick counters, but if you don't play, if you don't play the counter, like, you're not doing anything to actively make the counter work. What's the point in picking it? You know. Alistair ran straight there. Ignite. An ally has been slain. We're nearly double farm bot lane, by the way. This Trist may be auto field. If I had to get some moolah, I would probably wager she is not an AD carry player. In perspective, man, that was weird. I thought like I got her then, but no, it's because she was jumping up, so it looks closer to me. That was weird. <laughs> the war. Oh, really? Who knew there were so many heroes? I just said because he can't farm. He's against the cannon. I think it is definitely on the the low side. Wow, that missed. Oh. If you're waiting for me to give up, you might be here a while. Okay, they're de-warding, which means there's the Kazakh. So are you. Focus of support. Oh. Oh, Mr. Corky. Mr. Corky. But it's still good for us. Again, once again, look. Cassidy, Rome's bot lane. LeBlanc, way too late to make an impact. Oh, I say that, but I think Cassidy, weirdly. Mm. Why did she just let him go? He should be dead. That was weird. Oh. Thank you, kind sir. Let's go! Oh. Well, that's kind of game over for the enemy team. Wow, Buffett.
We're poppying off. That's the video title sorted. Poppying off on Poppy. Some things are We're pop going off. Poppying. Poggo. People. Why are we still here? We've killed the tower. Shouldn't we be like top? I kind of feel we're some not supposed to be here anymore. Hello. Hello, kind sir. Guys, you know we'll kill mid while we're here. in tarnation oh god he died i'd like to say a few words he had such a fluffy butt gg we win well, that was a stomp Let's go. we kind of gapped the alistair really hard but again here's the thing like Poppy is a modern modern support. Alistair is a really old support. So like, there's not much an Alistair can do. He blind picked Alistair. It's worth knowing. Like, of course we're gonna counter it, and that's the difference, right? We do a counter pick and we make it work. LeBlanc counters Cassidy and does sod all. But yeah, Jack would have had a boring game, but he gets a win. Cannon didn't really do anything of note. Um, Kazix got fed, but again we. We're strong in bot lane, so. I did 6,200 damage, so yeah, I'm doing more damage than their Tristana. Was the Tristana auto filled? No. She was a Tristana main. How? Like, unless that, like, their whole being is like, yeah, we snowball leveled one to three, and if we don't do anything, then I'm bad. Like, because she just did, she never, like, well. She she never committed to anything. I overcommitted once, and that got me killed because Corky didn't come with me in a fight. If Corky came with me in a fight, we would have we would have won that fight. Oh, what are you a main of? Riven! I banned Riven! I banned Riven! Aha! There's a lot of Riven one tricks at the moment, and the Riven is very overpowered right now. So again, she is a good ban. Um, so that Drax breaks his cold streak. That was a one trick Cassadin. So he's a one trick. She's a auto-filled AD carry player. Yes, has got three games and three wins of LeBlanc, but they, you know, three games out of nearly 500 is nothing. They did nothing to stop a Cassidy in doing what he wants. And that's what a LeBlanc is supposed to do. A LeBlanc is supposed to, I'm going to bully you in lane, and oh, you're going to try and roam? I'll match your roam, and I'm stronger early, so the roam will work better for me. LeBlanc didn't do that. But... Very weird. So they had a 66% win rate and 71% win rate. To be fair, so did we, but in much less games. But yeah, we did very well. That was uh, not a hard lane phase to win. If you guys did enjoy that, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. regime I know how to unleash eternal power